You guys, I just spotted something at in their yard and I just asked about it and I can't get to my car quick enough. <gasps> okay, go on. Look I'm not this. gonna lie, I'm feeling a little, a little timid <laughs> to jump into another big project, but guess what you guys, I'm just about to do that. If you haven't seen my last video where I made over a desk into nightstands, gave it an industrial look, if you've seen those videos, you'll know that they, that took me close to a month to make over. I'm hoping that this next piece that I'm doing does not take me that long, but I have to tell you guys, what I've got left in my stash here in the garage are pieces that <laughs> require a lot of me both mentally physically I don't know <laughs> just require a lot of me and I keep pushing them to the back but I don't have any easy pieces left to paint so I am up to my hard pieces my in-depth pieces Today's furniture makeover is of a lane cedar chest that I found at the Habitat for Humanity near me. I was there searching for an easy piece to make over. I couldn't find anything. I went out into the yard, the outside yard, and next to the dumpster, lo and behold, was this beauty, marked junk. They did not want it, it w was too far gone, the veneer is peeling off of it, the leg is broken, it is drawn on on the inside, she is in rough shape, rough shape. You could be forgiven for saying, you know what, this is too far gone Sarah, you should just throw it in the dump and be done with it, call it a day. Yep, so anyway. We're gonna see, I'm gonna truck on and see what I can do to this piece. I'm gonna take it one step at a time. I kinda have a direction in which I'm going, but you're gonna have to stick around to the end to see how it turns out. If you do this for a living or even as a side hustle, you know sometimes these pieces don't turn out how you first envision, but you sort of just have to go with the flow. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go with the flow today. All right, you guys, let's get into it. I am gonna keep all the veneer. I might be able to reuse it. Who knows? Just like my dad keeps everything. <laughs> Listen, what can I say here? Probably nothing new really, but still a heartfelt thank you to my members. You guys are the sweetest and I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your support and your encouragement and for just being there and yeah, I'm just grateful. Grateful for you guys. Am I even turning it? No, I'm not. It's not even a screw in there. <laughs> no wonder it's not. Ugh, my word. Is there a screw anywhere else? <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, you gotta laugh or you'll cry. What is happening? It goes in, I feel it, and then somehow it magically slips out even though I'm like pressing on it. You know, my instinct, right? 
maybe it's just my destructive nature because it's giving me such a hard time I just want to I just want to hammer it <laughs> I just want to hammer it out because you know who's who's got patience for that is what I want to know but I don't want to damage it because I do want to put it back on keep going keep going come on Sarah when I do put it back on I am going to be using Craig screws because those are the bomb the right side falling apart the left side is solid not going anywhere <laughs> the middle is like half and half hang on I'll be back You know, it, the body of this is cedar, it's a lane chest, we all know, it's made out of cedar. The feet are not made out of cedar, okay? You can see how green the wood is here. I would say it's poplar, but you know, I'm not a wood expert and that is not cedar either. It feels a lot like a softer wood, like pine, maybe something like that that's usually what these type of things feet are made out of or is like a right as I was saying before my battery died I'll save the front apron and the sides and I'll see what I can do about reconstructing and saving the feet it needed to come off just so I can do a full restoration take my time do the thing properly yeah so anyway Onward and upward, let's keep going. could explain at this point why okay lots of people think you should go in like this with I can't even remember what this is called right now but my dad always taught me that you go in with the, the rounded edge down underneath what you want to get under come at it like that oh <laughs> and it makes it come up that way right see how it slipped under luckily I'm not keeping these parts Okay, Lane have changed their locks. In 1987 is when they did this. They, for safety reasons, changed it so that if anybody got locked inside, they could get out of 
the chest. So this is an old lock and I am removing it, but I actually end up putting it back on and just removing the top clasp, just so it still had the appearance of the lock, but it's actually not lockable anymore for safety reasons. going to be using a combination wood glue and then of my Starbond glue and accelerator. I have an affiliate link below if you guys are interested. Uh, if you end up using that affiliate link you get a 10% discount and at no extra cost to you, you help me out, I get a an affiliate partner thing, <laughs> whatever it is. Did you like that little trick? <laughs> so what I did there, right? You saw it, repeating it. I made the fix, but there was still a crack, if you will, in the wood, filled it with glue, took the vacuum off my sander and sort of brushed in the glue into that crack and created my own wood fill for that crack. I think I'm going to need to uh, possibly do it again, uh, but that's a that's a neat little neat little trick there to use some wood dust to make your own wood fill that's the same color as <laughs> the piece you're actually sanding. So there you go. All right, keep on going. feeling about this okay see right here it's popular po popular it's poplar and this right here this oh you can't even see Sarah come on this right here that's like I don't know a couple mil thick it's cedar so it's lined in cedar the top but the rest of it is gonna be poplar probably trimmed out that's trimmed out and this is and it's trimmed out there and a veneer on the top so before I do the top I'm going to do this. I am using Zinza wood bleach. I will list it below. I've got it from Amazon for $12. The research that I did said that cedar does not lighten with household bleach or oxalic acid. So some people have had luck with this Zinza two part wood bleach. So that's what I'm going to do. Right, so gloves, uh, and then I'm just going to wipe on solution A, let it stand for five minutes, and while it's still wet, apply solution B. While it's still wet, so let's add solution B, and then a nylon brush is best for application. And let it stand and dry overnight, lightly sand any residue and you can repeat it one more time. I've also heard that doing it more than twice really doesn't do much. So if it doesn't, it, I'm gonna get it as light as I can. 
with one go and if I need to do a second go I will and then I'm gonna go from there. The primer, I already knew about it, but the primer really shows off what I need to wood fill. On to the base. The rest of it looks amazing. <laughs> My hair. So what I'm mostly going to be using today are clamps nail gun, wood glue, and I'm also going to be doing my, the, well not my, but doing the hot glue trick that I have done multiple times because I am missing just one piece. So that's acting as rebub. If you've guys seen my hot glue trick video, you'll know that. The nails should never be higher than the bondo that you're putting on there. This needs to be hidden underneath to act as a rebub, which is just like a grip so that your bondo has something to cure around, okay? And it'll stick to this better. Now I just need to wait for, oh, the hot glue is almost dry, actually. I think it'll be all right to just, peel off while it's still a bit warm. Actually, it's probably better than what I've done in the past, which is that I've waited for it to completely dry and it was harder to peel off then. This is peeling off really easy. Seriously, it doesn't get old. I've done this a lot of times now. <laughs> That's super cool. Okay. I don't think I need it clamped on there actually. It's on there pretty good. Okay, let that dry. Now, somebody asked me once, they wanted to know how do I know which size nail to use in a nail gun. I want to drive a nail through here as well as glue it and if I do this nail it's gonna come out the other side you can see right here near my finger okay I have these teeny tiny screws uh, screws nails that when they go in they don't come out the other side so I'm gonna be using the tinier screw uh, screws I keep saying screws Not going for perfection here on these legs. I am just going to hand sand using my little sanding block. Love this thing. It's linked below. It's um, Velcroed there so it sticks, the orbital pads stick right to it. <laughs> okay. You guys. Look at that. That's insane. Oh. 
when you start sanding Bondo, you want to mask up. Uh, so it kind of feels like a good time to say if you are getting value out of this content and enjoying the video, could you hit that thumbs up button? That would be amazing. It helps throw my video out there into YouTube land to get in front of other people. And maybe just leave a comment below. That also helps you guys. They are free ways which don't take a lot of time for you to be able to help me out. Thanks so much. I'm using DIY paint in Sandy Blonde as well as one of Debbie's new brushes. This brush is amazing. Can you see that? How soft that is? I mean, it just looks soft. It is soft. I rubbed it on my face. <laughs> Sandy Blonde is a beautiful beige color not a colorist but it's just gorgeous diy paint is clay and chalk based paint it is so pigmented that a little bit goes a long way i say it all the time but it is true oh there's a mozzie flying around trying to get its fangs into me if you would like to try any of the paint, the DIY paint that I use in today's video, you can head on over to Debbie's website through my affiliate link below. I also found out that DIY paint ships to Canada. Some of the retailers will ship to Canada. And if you ask, some of the retailers may also ship internationally. Australia! You would just have to go over to Debbie's website, click my link, and then go search for a retailer, and then you could try Utah. I'm not going to name specific retailers, but you might want to give them a try and see if they will ship to Australia. You may have to pay through the nose <laughs> to get it to you, but if you're dying to try this paint, that may be a way that you could do that. Okay, using DIY paint in, you can't see that, but it, trust me, it says black velvet. It's a beautiful black, 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 black. Okay, I'm just going to paint the face of it and then I'm going to flip it upside down and paint the little muffin feet, or whatever they're called. Okay, here's the repair you guys. Look at it. You can't, other than it being a different color, you can't tell. And in a second when I paint it, you're still not going to be able to tell. Look at that. What repair. Alright. The sounds of summer. <laughs> My fan is going, it was pointing right on me. I need it. So, sorry about that eh, whirring sound in the background, but otherwise I'll keel over and we don't want that, do we guys? <laughs> okay, I painted it black. Honestly, I didn't like the way that it looked, the harshness of the black. So, I'm gonna dry brush Sandy Blonde on top of the black. And I think that that is gonna help me like it better. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I have tried and tried and tried. I've tried, uh, kid you not, I've three different times I have tried to finish this thing. I had so many ideas. I did line art, but then I didn't like the way it looked, so I wiped it off. I'll show you a small clip of it if I still have it. I probably deleted it. <laughs> and I knew this already because DIY paint is so pigmented, and even though it was sealed, the Cho layered chocolate because of how pigmented it is it I can still see what I attempted the first time so then I did this beautiful well not beautiful because it wasn't beautiful um, I tried to do <laughs> like a watercolor painting thing I didn't like it so I reset it wiped it off it was fine I just tried <laughs> A stencil. I definitely deleted that footage already. 
I was going to use this stencil sort of right here, frame it out. I tried it, you guys. I hated it. No, not what I was after. So I have sort of given a distressed look to the frame. I've dry brushed the bottom. I'm going to go for this. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's Val Unique Design on Pinterest. Found it, loved it. I should have just went with my gut in the first place. Has some greens, has some stamps, has some browns and the blacks and the, all the things. So I'm going to just play. I've got some colors here. I'll probably get some more colors later and I am just going to layer it up you guys here we go I know and I'm also going to cop flack because I went through the whole effort of <laughs> sanding back and then bleaching the cedar you know it's not really a wasted step because now you know that that two step A and B wood lightener lighten cedar Caesar. Caesar? <laughs> Light and cedar. So, yeah. It's a shame that I'm about to paint over it all. But I am. I wish that <laughs> my ideas worked out, but they didn't. So, moving on. You know you can bleach cedar. We'll say that that was the lesson that we got out of that anyone was curious <laughs> there you go there's your answer okay so what I'm going to be doing is throwing a combination of blending stippling cross hatching I just want texture and I want it all on there and you guys like I said I'm just playing letting loose if I think one section is not heavy enough, I go a bit heavier. If it's not light enough, uh, I add some more lighter colored paint. I just enjoyed myself because I <laughs> had frustrated myself so much with attempting three different things on this piece that I just wanted to relax and enjoy and have fun. And honestly, I think some of my frustration was definitely self-inflicted because I had done that bleaching and was so disappointed that I had done that step but only to cover it all up but you know what it is what it is and once I let go of all of that effort and everything that I had done and just decided it was more important at this point just to enjoy myself and get the piece done <laughs> I let go and I had fun and I just, I just relaxed and settled right into it and ended up getting an end result that I'm super proud of. Before we get to the finishing touches, I just wanted to say thank you, Teresa and Mark, who bought me coffees this month. You guys rock, and I am super grateful. So I am sealing in all that beautiful clay and chalk base paint by DIY with Annie Sloan clear wax. I just had it, so I wanted to use it. And I also have her dark wax, which I wanted to bring age, an age look to this piece and just accentuate all those beautiful details around the feet and around the base and of course around the edges.
Okay, here is a quick look at the before left outside in the rain, ready to be thrown away. She was junk, but not to me. I was so excited to get this piece, you guys, for free and just go for it. And while I was super disappointed that I didn't get to do my original idea of bleaching it and having a natural look with some line art on it. When I finally settled into its final look, I am so happy with it. Look at that texture. The faded stamp is gorgeous. Chef's kiss, mwah. I was in love with this piece, definitely considered keeping it. I put it up on Facebook Marketplace, you guys, and it sold in 12 hours. It was amazing. I paid nothing for it. I used all supplies that I already had. So I spent nothing extra on this piece, you guys. So I listed it for $295 and ended up selling it for $260. But you know what, guys? My market is very slow at the moment. So I'm going to take it. And look at that. That's the foot that I fixed. You can't even tell. It's amazing. I am a huge fan of the hot glue trick. Whoever came up with that originally is amazing. I'm so glad that I stumbled upon it. So here it is, you guys, the finished product. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I love hearing what you think about it. And I will catch you on the next one. If you enjoyed this video, you can binge watch another one of my videos by clicking right here. Love you guys. Bye.